Tonight, one of nine Calypsonians will leave the National Stadium crown the 2005 Calypso Monarch. Now live at the pick of the crop finals is Admiral Nelson. Well, good evening, and unfortunately, it's not the Admiral. It's John King in the house, but we are going to have a ball in the hall nonetheless. Welcome to CBC's coverage of the 2005 pick of the crop finals, and my oh my, what a competition we are going to have. The crowds are hyped. My panel of analysts along with me, they are hyped. And we are in for a treat. But if we take a look out into the stands, as it, let's see how it compares to further years. You know, there was a time when we would come here and you, at 5 o'clock, the whole place would be filled from stand to stand. Traditionally, the stands on the A and the A and the D stands would be a little, you know, a little loose. But... These days, things have changed. But on stage, we can hear the festival band going through their paces, making sure that the sound is correct. Oh, boy. Like I said, we're in for a good one. But let's go now to my co-host for this evening's <laughs> event, Dr. Cleve Scott. Welcome. How are you? Well, thank you very much, John. I don't know co-host. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Arturo. <laughs> and and yeah. Arturo Tavin. Uh, how are you doing, John? I'm very well. I'm very well. Gentlemen, let's look at what we have before us this evening. Among these finalists, we have two first-timers. Very first time coming to this event, so to speak. Sammy Jane, Tassa, and actually there are three of them, the announcer. What do you think it's going to be like for them coming up, coming up against these big guns, so to speak? Well... The big yard, uh, the national stadium is always a challenge for the first timers. You are performing on a very big stage. You're using a very huge sound system. So it would have to bring out the, the best in you. So I think that the first timers will have to prove to us that they are veterans in their own right. When we look at Tassa, for instance, um, she would have been here in the days when the semi-finals used to take place right here at the stadium. So I believe that she should have some experience. Sammy Jane, as I know, is a very experienced performer, so to speak. She's performed in the gospel circuit for a number of years. And she should find herself at ease with any size crowd. But like you said, Cleve, this is a different ball game. Um, there's a gap which we used to we call the, the, the waterfall bottom. You know, where it's, it's difficult sometimes to bridge that gap, reach into the audience, being so far away from the stage. But Turo, as a person who has been involved, you've been on this stage for a number of years as a member of the festival band. You've also had the opportunity to arrange a few calypsos over the years. I mean, last year you did a fantastic job with TC. What do you think is going to be the most important thing for these performers uh, tonight to get their message across and convince the judges that they should drive home that car? Well, I've noticed over the years, the performers who um, are focused on keeping in tune, singing well, connecting with the audience, are not necessarily so worried about winning a crown, but just being themselves and being as comfortable as they are on stage, that, that um, goes over well with the audience. And I believe the judges, and once they can, you know, keep up the, um, the level that they have maintained during the tent and not try too hard and go overboard. Um, and of course, a little spontaneity with the lyrics always helps with uh, bringing in, capturing everyone's attention. All right, when we look at this lineup, first up, Bumba, a former Calypso monarch, and I can tell you from experience, a very hard competitor. Your feelings on Bumba? Well, I tell you what, guys, it's just about that time when we should go to the stage. Charles Roberts is our MC. Let's go to the stage. Well, he's actually been singing Calypso for just about 30 years. As a matter of fact, in 1973, 
He was the Calypso Monarch right here in Barbados at the University of the West Indies Cayfield Campus Calypso Competition. Please welcome on stage to sing My Helper and My Decision from St. Lucia Hammer. Good night, St. Lucia. Good night, Barbados. Good night, Caribbean. Good night, world. <laughs> them fans giving me pressure calling me liar no way they say you can't fool we we know the lady mr hammer you are such a quiet man the wife is the one with the mobile and then is when i jump in this way to explain again the role
just make me rehearse over and over just one verse won't satisfy her she's so ravenous thank you Five years ago, I sang a song called The Meat. Now, five years after, that's now, I decided to stop eating meat. So this second song is called My Decision. as concrete not for hell I will not retreat whether bovine swan canine or feline what is lent you boy 
And there you have it. That was the hammer, CSME in full effect from the beautiful island of St. Lucia, the Helen of the West, the hammer, with traditional calypsos, please. Yes, beautiful way to begin the finals and kudos for the NCF to bring an authentic calypso from the hammer. Duro? Yes, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed that tempo. Definitely. And you know, we have not had uh, that type of calypso is sung at this national stadium for a number <laughs> of years. I find that our calypsonians are a bit more, I would say, ex open to experimenting with different rhythms, um, fusing the music a lot more. Mm. I guess all in an attempt to, to spread the wings of the music, but it's, it's refreshing to have some real traditional calypso on the stage. But let's take a look at uh, our contestants for tonight. First up is going to be a former calypso monarch, Bumba out of the headliners Calypso Day. Now, Cleve, you would have seen Bumba over the years. Your thoughts on Bumba? Uh, Bumba, the antics. You, you can't beat the antics. So he's always very dynamic on stage. But this year, he stands a very good chance, especially with the Republic song. Republic song, a very beautiful song. I think it's a fantastic piece of work this year. Yeah. And the second song, Glen, um, Glendary. Glendary. Not as strong, but uh, a pretty good song lyr lyrically. I'm sorry, in terms of melody. But the lyrics are kind of questionable. All right, Turo. Well, you've not had a chance to hear a lot of the music. You're getting first-hand view. But let's go to the stage as our MC begins to announce our first contestant for the night. Here comes Bamba.
for those who argue that Barbados should not become a republic as long as social and economic problems exist. To be or not to be a republic, that is the question in the one position or do you still want the monarchy for me that is a simple decision because I see development as an ongoing process before you learn to walk you'll have to go through many stages how come you didn't stop at the creeping stage so explain to me what you mean Head of state must be a foreign monarchy. Explain to me what you mean when you say things must first be perfect. You want no republic as long as Barbados has problems. We move all the way from slavery. We move to emancipation. Why you do not want to move from the monarchy? Tell me why you want. Before you agree, in the past we had brutality, prostitutes and adultery. Today we have the same damn things, man still living selfishly. But if the world were to stand still, because some people misbehave, most of us would still be living as slaves. Yes, oh ho ho. Yes, and all the forefathers made it. For a perfect society, most of us would still be in chains. Allegiance 
generation. Yes, we have murders, we have rapists, and students with teachers here. Show the world the terrorists, bomb the innocent every day. But if the world were to stand still because of global mayhem, women would be still subservient to men. Yes, yes, had women created for equality, they would still be only cooking, sweeping, washing. That was Bumba, my oh my oh my cleave, a fantastic start tonight. Yes, um, Bumba the Republic song, very nice song. And that Republic suit was beautiful. Yellow with that black shoe, <laughs> not forgetting the black. <laughs> Good use of the stage, he was moving from left to right. And the lyrics, you know, complicated as usual, but you know, make it simple, psychological, psyche, utopia. But most importantly of all, Arturo, and you probably might agree with me. It was refreshing to hear him experiment in the end with the, the dub, the dub rhythm. The shocking out. Yeah, the yeah. shocking out. Yeah. yeah, I think that it emphasizes the whole point of a Caribbean nest, it, yeah. it, it, you know, coming to our republic. But to our, what are we looking for when we talk about um, melody? And, you know, oftentimes you hear people calling in on the radio programs or, or even out on the grounds of the past, you hear people saying, well, the melody wasn't good. What are we looking for? What constitutes a good melody? Well, I think it's something that has to be pleasing to the ear, that we can all <laughs> sing along with, that we can all remember. But at the same time, you have to try to get away from the samey, samey thing. And at the same time, you have to uh, write a melody that we can all recognize on one listening, because a lot of the people hear the melody for the first time. So that's a pretty difficult task. Come with something new, come with something fresh, but some, something that we can recognize immediately is not easy. And I think Bumble would have accomplished that with this particular song. Yes, yeah. I mean, um, Arturo, as an instrumentalist, mm -hmm. would tell you that he could go and play that uh, tomorrow on a gig, it, note yeah, for it, note. It definitely is a beautiful melody, but what I really like ab about Bumble, his sense of rhythm and time is so perfect. Impeccable. He could have been a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. But let's, let's look at our judging criteria. What are we looking for, uh, Arturo, you've got, it. you've got a breakdown of it there for uh, Lyrics, 35 points. Melody, 35 points. Rendition, 25 points. Presentation, 5 points. And as far as the presentation goes, I did love the suit, but you need to unbutton the bottom button and button the top one. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd actually got into it. Correct. I mean, at the end of it, you heard the applause. They really enjoyed it. So yes. I think we are off to a fantastic yes. start. Yes. Oh boy. Well, let's go to the stage. Here comes. Please welcome to the stage, Sammy Jane.
regardless of what they do. Murders in Trinidad and Tobago rising too. Though into Paul and Scotland Yard has been sometimes called upon. Loss of life through bullet and knife, yet still go on. Still be some solution to no doubt. Similar problems them worry about. Evil forces could not care less.
first time in the big yard, Sammy Jane from the experienced Calypso tank. Arturo, your thoughts on her performance? Uh, she seems as though she really believes in her material. Um, she has a wonderful voice, but there are times when I think she didn't understand the power of her voice and she kind of pushed a bit too hard uh, when she went for her high notes and she missed uh, a couple of the, um, the, you know, it wasn't perfectly in tune and it didn't come off as strong as it should have. And at this stage, I believe tonight is about perfection and that was not a perfect vocal performance. So she would have lost points as far as rendition, as far as I was concerned. But um, she did put a lot of effort for those five points, getting that car on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Clee? Um, I made an observation during the semifinals, but tonight I think her problem was she took too long to get to center stage at the beginning. I don't know if you observed mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. She only had about a split second before she began to sing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she was only comfortable in the third verse or so. Mm -hmm. Because post that, so you're trying to feel your way. But lyrically, a good song. The melody is there. But the rendition tonight was very poor. Not as good as it was in the semifinals. Mm -hmm. I would tend to agree with both of you. Mm -hmm. Had a few pitching problems. Yes. Um, the thing I liked most about it, not overawed by the occasion being here for the first time. Mm -hmm. She looked very confident. Um, and it was a competent performance, but all in all, I think for a night like this, you need to be over the top, and that yes, definitely yes. was not over yes, the top, yeah. you know. But um, we'll see. As the night goes on, we've got eight more to go, mm -hmm. and who knows? <laughs> who okay. knows? Up next, we'll be looking at Tassa. What did you think of her performance at the semifinals? Please? Well, I didn't pick Tassa for, for tonight. I mean, viewers know that. But um, I'm wishing her all the best, and I hope she does well, because she's a very good singer. She, been in, she has been in the business for a long time, so best of luck to her. Okay, well, let's go to the stage for Tassa. Drawn number three, please welcome on stage, Tassa. Our cricket has been going through some trying time, and we are seeking solutions to the problem. Will cricketing organizations be the problem? Or the solution. Ramarai, we cannot keep on going on like this. These cricketers will have no say in work for us. Boy, I tell you, we just run the cricket. We want some of this sponsorship money. Hmm. I want to reap rewards from my investment. Oh, I see, Thad. There's a lot going around for all of us, I say. Hey. Bigger, better cricket. <laughs> Listen, man, we have to do something to bring cricket back to where it was like the glory days. I tell you, I ain't paying attention to none of them cricketers. That is their business. Look, you see right now, I'm laughing in here. Let us
Cave Woo! Out of the All Stars Calypso Tent. Out of the All Stars Calypso Tent. Well, I think she certainly stepped it up a notch tonight. What do you think, Lee? 15 years of waiting to get here. Tassa, I'm very happy with your performance tonight. Very happy. Very, very happy. Um, that arrangement for the song, the arranger, I think, did the trick for Tassa. The arranger. Um, nice bass, especially the horns are true. Mm -hmm. A strong tonic, strong tonic in the mm -hmm. bass line, mm -hmm. sinking <laughs> beautifully with the, with the melody. Correct. That's what they call a performance with attitude. <laughs> the thing I liked about the, the, the arrangement of the music, it really complemented the whole theme of the song. And when, when you heard the horns at the beginning, it gave you that sense of pride being a Caribbean person. And, and I thought the arranger, as you said, Cleve did a fantastic job. With Fa this. Fantastic job. And what I would encourage Tassi to do after when I see her is to rework the melody for, for the, and, and the lyrics because the lyrics could be a bit stronger. I, be, I believe so. Yeah? But Tassa did not disappoint. She made good use of her, of her opportunity and I'm very happy for her. Very much so. Mm. Turo, if, if, if when we're looking at arranging, as, as you're arranging, what, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, I try not to get in the way of the lyrics, especially for competitions. And a lot of arrangers make that mistake where they put horns all over the place and it ties up the lyrics and, and we get a problems trying to figure out what they're singing about. All right. Well, let's, let's go to Admiral who has Tassa with him right now. Correct. Okay. The semi-finals last Friday night at the Garfield Sobers Gymnasium. They're here this evening for the Pick of the Crop Finals. We caught up with one of those ladies from the Cave Shepherd All-Stars, Tassa. Tassa, it's, it looks as though it's going to be a ladies' year. Mm -hmm. And most of all, it looks as though it's going to be a pretty competitive night tonight. Oh, yes. Tonight is going to be extremely competitive. And um, I'm happy to be a part of it. I've been doing this for a while. Um, this was actually my 10th semifinal. And... That may be my magic number tonight. Um, but it's, it's been a great year. Tonight is going to be an excellent night of competition. And everybody who's here to see it, I hope they enjoy themselves. Now you well, that was a, a, a pre-recording with Tassa. But let's go to the stage for Kid Sight, the defending monarch. Girl, I had was to call ya. Oh, well, child, my grand boy, he's so singing some calypso thing with naff, naff violence. Like, mash up the back part of a car and burning up some sort of hole. Then me bone the violence, that is pure roadness. Not under pain, they found all the radio stations. Then me banding, but the gun and do the arm. Mitigated thing by banning some that decent looker. That is why I like Kate Salt. Cause in, he is one decent young fella that does sing some wholesome songs. Mm. I like it too. I love him. But I think I hear him music now. Look, turn at your radio. Oh.
Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. There you have it. Kids like the defending monarch, putting in a good performance. Um, 